Praise the Lord. Isaiah 41, we have journeyed all through from verse 8, now reading verse 19 to 20. And the Bible says, I will put in the desert the cedar and the acacia, the myrtle and the olive. I will set janipers in the wastelands, the fir and the cypress together, so that people may see and know, may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. And the Lord is challenging the Israelites to present their case, their case and to, or, or to set forth their argument. And he's telling them, present your case, says the Lord. Set forth your argument, says Jacob's king. And um, in all this, from verse number eight, all the way we have seen, the Lord, you know, revealing himself as the helper and the source of strength for his people. He's telling them not to fear, not to be afraid. And he's assuring them that I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. When the Lord says so, he's showing that he's even able to turn around situations where there is lack, he's ready to answer and to provide. Where there is any kind of dryness, he's ready to cause rivers, springs of water, well, you know, from the valleys, and he's able to turn around even deserts. I will put in the desert the cedar, the acacia, the myrtle, and the olive. You know, I will set janipers in the wastelands. And he says, I will do that so people may see and know. So, pe so that people may see and know. People may consider and understand. I love this. All these things that the Lord is turning around. The intervention that the Lord is revealing to his people. He is doing that so that people may see and know. It is possible to see and not to get to a point of knowing. That people may see and know. People may consider and understand. You know, that the hand of the Lord has done this that the Holy One of Israel has created it or has made a way, has intervened, people may see and know, that people may consider and understand very important things. What the Lord is doing, he wants you to see and know. He wants you to consider and understand that it is the hand of the Lord that is at work in your life brothers and sisters as we trust god to intervene in our situations let us know that he is truly our help and our helper he's the source of our help he's the source of our everything and he's our sustainer he's able to turn around situations we need not to fear we need not to worry he is ready to hold us and to uphold us with his righteous right hand. He's doing all these things so that people may see and know. People may consider and understand that it is the hand of the Lord that is at work in their lives. When you see things happening in your life, miracles taking place in your life, great things coming your way, the Lord is doing that so that you may see and know. Don't stop at seeing. Move on. Get to know. So that you may consider and understand. May, meaning that you take a moment to reflect on what God is doing. You get to a point of understanding. These people had been shown as though their God was not helping them. And wonder he's getting to a point of telling them, O oh, Israelites, present your case, says the Lord. Set forth your argument, says Jacob's king. There is no argument that can overtake the Lord. There is no case that is beyond God's ability. 
He is doing great things in our lives that when we see, we may get to know. When we consider, we may get to understand. Don't stop at seeing. Don't stop at considering. See and know. Consider and understand. The hand of God is at work, not anybody else. The Lord bless you. God be with you. Have a blessed time in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom. Keep well. God be with you. Amen.